there's something electric in the air. The kind of restlessness that precedes great moments. For good reason. We're getting you to a new dimension of car culture. The world of electric vehicles. My guess, it'll be nothing like you imagined. You won't be the only one to enjoy that Motorfest experience. A popular young tech reviewer has come all the way to join you in your electric odyssey. His name is Danny. He hasn't been around much, but his viewers say he's a smart, knowledgeable and passionate guy. He can't wait to meet you, so go knock his socks off. In this playlist, you'll first get to showcase each vehicle we've got lined up for you through a nice and sweet ride. Then, it'll be racing time. You will witness how electric power stands against a century of internal combustion engines. Don't forget, you have to bring the cars to the starting grids without a scratch first. By the way, the forecast indicated extremely tough driving conditions today. Be careful out there. ready for a glimpse of the future. But that wouldn't be right. The future is already here. To the next objective. One of the cars the Motorfest wants to showcase for our lovely reviewer Danny is the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. An engineering marvel with all the slick style of a Porsche and the raw power of battery-powered acceleration. Remember, drive the vehicle to the designated location while keeping it as unblemished as possible. It's a showcase after all. this thing on? Yeah? Thanks again for driving these mighty EVs for me. You make it look so easy. Writing about these beasts is no easy feat, and I'm not much of a driver. Lucky to be teaming up with you. Let's do this. I might not drive, but I know quite a lot about these machines. The Porsche Taycan Turbo S. <laughs> Where do I start? First 100% electric vehicle made by the Stuttgart manufacturer. Different variations available on the market. The Turbo S you're driving being the high performance model. Hey, nice, we got the best one. If I remember correctly, 
It can reach 100 kilometers per hour in, wait, let me check my notes, 2.8 seconds. Wow, you think you could try that? I mean, without damaging the car, obviously. We're on an island-sized exhibition. I gotta snap some shots. job. I got some great pictures for my paper. potential. Now the race really begins. time. Keep in mind that the EV's instant acceleration is one of their most impressive traits. That's something you can use against these guys. A 
did mention that it'd be great to have shots at a storm, but damn, Hawaii, you didn't have to go so hard. Anyway, I'm eager to see how great the Tycoon can race. It'll spice up my review for sure. Tycan means lively young horse in Turkish. That's cool, but to me, Porsche is being modest here. I mean, look at that thing go! This is so much cooler than my usual review cycle, and a hell of a lot crazier. Stronger than the storm. Take these nitro lanes to refill your nitro batteries. Don't make fun of me, but to me, EVs like that Porsche is like a new power joining the car universe. Like a friggin' superhero. What? I mean it. Got a clear shot. Full power. Let's make history. I can't believe I'm being a part of this. This is mental. This ride kills. You did it. Well done. Let's move on to the following event. What's coming will be electrifying. Pun very much intended. There's actually more diversity than you'd expect when it comes to EVs. But right now, we're going to showcase something that's slightly more ostentatious. Danny handpicked this one for its brashness, exclusivity, and trailblazing aspirations. Also, it's British. Care to guess which car it's going to be? It's the Lotus Ibaya, the EV connoisseur's dream. I know you're raring to drive this one, but save your enthusiasm for the race. The showcase comes first. Just stay on the road and get to the meeting point in one piece. online. I'm ready to do this. Let's get out of town first. I'm so glad the Avaya got included in this EV lineup. I barely got to check it out when it first came out. But this time I'll make sure to review the sh living daylights out of it. For starters, did you know they only made 130 of them? The 
Evaya has been called many things. Eve, Type 130, Omega, but most people call it fast. I mean it. It can reach a max speed of 340 kilometers per hour in like nine seconds. That's just insane. That speedway is a perfect place to check that fact. Let's see how fast you can really go. Can you hear that? Barely, right? It's like the stealthiest show of force. Check the wind turbines on the left. Looks like the wind is picking up. We're here. Good luck for the race. And don't forget, use the Lotus's full acceleration from the start. From zero to a hundred. Combustion engines just can't compete. has new and inventive ways to describe this modern classic. Showcasing a car is one thing, but braving a storm in it is something else. Good luck, driver! So you're driving at warp speed through a tempest and racing a bunch of friggin' monsters. What could go wrong? Keep her as steady as you can. I'm gonna try to get good footage. That EV has a pyramid-shaped battery and an extremely low center of gravity. Slick engineering innovation for an optimal combo of power, responsiveness, and agility. It's gonna give you the edge, no matter what you're racing against. Trust me. You are actually part of the storm. You're lightning. I should write that down. Damn, what the F was that? You good. This is incredible. Nobody's ever driven an EV like that. Insane. This is going into the review for sure. 2,000 horsepower with that kind of acceleration? No wonder Eve isn't street legal. Mulligan! One more time. Almost there. Gotta get those glory shots. This car was made for the spotlight. Victory! You rode 
with the lightning. And I got the shots of a lifetime. No time to rest on your laurels. Keep going, driver. I'm sure your heart's still racing, but there's no time to rest. The next vehicle you'll be showcasing will likely surprise you. Danny is beside himself with excitement. Think of it like a revival. I'm sure you've never ridden anything like this before. Your vehicle for the next race and showcase will be the GMC Hummer EV. This rough rider combines size and speed like never before. Give it a whirl. Oh, and it might be sturdy, but remember to keep it pristine for the delivery. Have fun. Hey, can you hear me? Okay, good. Wow, this one is gonna be a trip. I'm super excited. It's been over 10 years since the GMC released a Hummer. Let's see what this electric behemoth has in its belly. I timed you while you were driving. Zero to 100 in four seconds. <laughs> that is pretty fast for something that heavy. Did you just cross that road without looking? That's bold. Perfect traction from shallow water to land. I'm actually looking for a title for my review. Well, what about the uh, E-Bear? No? Your silence speaks volumes. All right, we'll find something else. Do you think you could really go for it in this next set of turns? I want to see how the suspension holds up. Awesome. This car is like halfway between a tank and a cloud. I wish that slope was even steeper. I'd love to see what those three electric engines can do. Almost there. I still need a title, by the way. The Graceful Giant, maybe? Okay, never mind. We'll figure it out after the race.
driver. I hope you've got a feel for the Hummer. Who says a heavy car can't handle smoothly? You delivered the car. Now use your skills for the upcoming race. It's not much further. Let's see if we can impress our resident tech reviewer even more. <laughs> Looks like this is where the fun starts. You're racing a power truck smack in the middle of a volcano, surrounded by, um, I mean, look at all this. Electric forever, guys. Sorry. No doubt about it. The suspension definitely works. Keep her steady. I got some good footage. The Hummer, the power, the talent. You got all the ingredients we need to win this thing. Oh, this truck is so much fun. I can't believe they actually made this thing. Whoa, this place looks like some kind of trippy mood. How am I supposed to describe this? Oh, forget it. Look at this. Nobody's gonna believe me anyway. Just look at those 250 kilowatt engines at work. This rules. That was intense. <laughs> I think I finally found my title. The Lightning Hammer. Two on the nose? No time to rest on your laurels. Keep going, driver. You did it. You delivered our three cars and proved EVs can more than hold their own against the greatest gas guzzlers. Danny's ecstatic. Thanks for making this happen. I'm not messing with you. One extra spectacular race. Three cars, hand-picked opponents, and multiple terrains. This show is far from over. No more details. I don't want to spoil the whole surprise. Trust me when I say that there's still plenty of room for amazement when it comes to the EV Odyssey.
we're back. Did, did you know about this? Oh my god, we're getting the Volkswagen ID buggy concept? <laughs> that car isn't even in production. You're driving an actual concept car. I have no idea what's coming next, but it's off to a great start. You're not gonna... I mean, come on! Oh, man! My heart stopped beating for a moment. We're back with the Porsche Taycan, perfect. Can't complain. My audience loves when I write about the Taycan. Among the street e-cars, it's kind of an obvious choice. This is a three-phase race, right? I wonder what car Motofest picked up for the final heat. No way. Oh, they are actually giving us a Lamborghini Terzo Millennio? This bizarre concept car was a glimpse of what the future of Lambo could be. A hyper Lamborghini, pushing the bull standards to the extreme. An electric monster, pure and simple. Clear skies ahead. Perfect time to punch it. Straight away, that's your cue. Terso Millennio, allá vamos! Amazing! I freaking love EVs. You just proved that the lightning is here to stay. Don't forget to grab your reward vehicle driver. Welcome back. The storm 
has passed, but the Eevee lightning strike will remain forever. Danny's headed back already. He couldn't wait to use all that data he gathered. Looks like you've made a new friend. Pretty sure he'll be writing about your driving just as much as the cars. Constraints removed. You can now experience it, driver. 